According to heritage experts, the birth house of Yana's Yalan, referred to by the locals as At the Sextons, is one of the oldest buildings in the village. The local name reveals that it was used for the needs of the neighbouring church when the ancient parish was located in Urodine. Originally, the wooden building served as the vicar's office. A stone building was erected on the site of a fire that experts believe occurred in the 17th century. The building still has the same layout. In the late 20th century, Yalan's relatives rearranged the former living quarters and set up a museum which houses many personal items that belong to Yana's Yalan. The house is comprised of an ante room, a black kitchen, living quarters and a bed chamber. All rooms are original and serve as a reminder of the lives of our ancestors, making them even more worthy of a visit. Yana's Yalan was born on the 26th of May 1891 in Rodin, near Girovnica to peasant parents as the youngest of the ten children. Janus was ten years old when his father, who also served as a sexton, died. Janus went to elementary schools in Breznica, 1897-1901, and Ljubljana, 1901-1903. The priest of Breznica supported him during his secondary school studies in Kran, 1903-1911, and helped him to pass his final exams. Jalan then studied at the Ljubljana Seminary, 1911-1915. As a priest, he served in various places within the Ljubljana diocese. He first served as a chaplain in Srednja Vas in Bohin and was appointed military vicar in Graz in 1917. In the same year, he was transferred to the Lebrun camp, where he remained until the end of the war. After the war, he served as a substitute to an ill priest for some time in Beznica, Nikran. Later, he was served as a chaplain in Chronomel for half a year and then in Staroloka for one year. From there he came to Tronovo in Ljubljana, where Fran Seleski Finjga served as a parish priest at the time. After he passed his parish and catechesis exams, Yalan served in Moste as a parish priest and catechist. In 1930, he left Moste in order to assist in the filming of the first Slovenian motion picture, The Steep Slopes of Triglav, Triglavske Strumene, for which he also wrote the script. He then served as a chaplain in a hospital for the mentally ill in Studenets near Ljubljana for some time and moved to Notranje Gorice in Baria in 1932. In 1933, Jalen returned to Ljubljana and prematurely retired. He took up residence in Rojna Dolina and dedicated himself solely to writing. Between 1948 and 1959, he served as the warden of the parish in Grahova near Cerknica and took over as the Lubno Parish in the Gorenska region in 1959, where he remained until his death on 12th of April 1966. Janusz Jalan was a writer and a playwright. He belonged to the generation that rallied around the journals Dom in Svet and Ladika after the First World War. Slovenian literary historians list him among the writers of the realistic homestead, Vane, and among the playwrights of rural homestead plays. Jalan published some of his works using the alias Podskokoria Janas. His first published work is titled 1814 and the Church. After a break of nine years, he began publishing stage plays. The play home, Dom, written as a military vicar in Lebring, received the most attention. It is listed among the greatest and most frequently performed Slovenian folk plays. Narrative prose proved to be the most suitable form for expressing his rich lyrical emotions. Typical characteristics of his stories and short stories are an extraordinary attachment to his homeland and his love for flora, fauna and the beauty of nature. Jalan based many of his works on topics from his village, surroundings and the Bohin area. The area was the site of many of his stories, including the shepherd Marko, later included in the trilogy Bozaria, Svetkova Silka, a herd without bells, Top Brez Zvoncev, and other stories published in magazines and journals, such as Dom in Svet, Mladika, Domuljub, Slovenets, Koroski Slovenets, Vigred, Kolada Druzbe, Mohoria, and Slovencev Kolada. Serving in Notranje Gorica opened up a whole new world to Jalan. Baria, a marshland to the south of Ljubljana and the site of prehistoric culture of Kranog dwelling people provided the inspiration to write the trilogy, The Beavers, Bobri, written after the Second World War and published in many editions. The trilogy became a very popular classical work of Slovenian youth literature. After the war, he wrote several other stories and shorter texts that were published in Lovitz, Drujina, 
Nova Pot and Kolodamo Horeva Drujbe.